On Monday, Google unveiled their latest creation, the chatbot Bard, a rival to OpenAI's ChatGPT that's set to become available to the public in the few coming weeks. Unfortunately, the bot had a bit of a rocky start. Some experts noticed a major mistake in its first demo. Google shared a GIF of Bard responding to a question about discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope, which included an incorrect statement about the telescope being the first to take pictures of a planet outside our solar system. Astronomers on Twitter were quick to call out the error, with one astrophysicist jokingly pointing out that it was incorrect and that the first image of the Expo planet was actually taken in 2004. But some aren't ready to say that Bard was incorrect. One user said, there's a difference between the first composite image and the first picture. So we can say Bard is still correct. I'm looking forward to Bard defending itself against this. Tesla guy wrote, well actually, Bard never said first image, it said first pictures. And loosely speaking, first pictures could mean something like, for instance, baby pictures, which can occur years apart and no individual baby picture needs to be of the first picture set. However, Google did release the statement to Verge magazine. This highlights the importance of a rigorous testing process, something that we're kicking off this week with our trusted tester program. We'll combine external feedback with our own internal testing to make sure BART's responses meet a high bar for quality, safety, and groundedness in real world information. The anticipation of Google's response to ChatGPT, a search engine backed by Microsoft that has been used by many people, has been building. There's no doubt that Google would not let their spot as the top search engine slip away. They have way too much power for that to happen. This is incredibly exciting. At present, the extent of BART's capabilities is unclear, though Google has provided some examples of its uses. These include planning a friend's baby shower, comparing two Oscar-nominated movies, and providing lunch ideas based on what's in a person's refrigerator. It does not yet have the same level of capabilities as ChatGPT, such as writing research papers, poems, or code for basic websites. However, it should be noted that Google has yet to disclose all of BART's features. And it may be that BART is specifically designed to complement Google Search and thus has not been set for functions that don't directly improve the quality of the search results. Google's definitely working on something behind the scenes where there will be a standalone app for BART. At present, the most significant disparities between chatbots are the language model used and the accessibility of the chatbot. ChatGPT utilizes GPT 3.5. Google Bard utilizes a language model known as language model for dialogue applications or Lambda for short. Although there are many nuances in the way both models function, the main difference is that ChatGPT 3.5 data stops at 2021 and GPT 4 is expected to be released soon, but currently it's not. In contrast with Lambda, um, the information is always up to date. And I mean, it's Google. Being that Google owns some of the biggest apps that we use on a daily basis from YouTube, Gmail, Search, Maps, Lenses, I believe that it will smash ChatGPT. Google could integrate Lambda into YouTube, email, and Maps in many ways. Firstly, Lambda could be used to detect and filter out offensive language and user comments, reviews, and emails, thus keeping the content um, safe and respectful. It could also improve on voice recognition on all these platforms, providing more accurate translations of user commands. And Lambda could be used on maps to provide more reliable content, such as accurate directions, locations, and other information related to the user's query. Google CEO said in a statement released Monday while introducing BART, it's a really exciting time to be working on these technologies as we translate deep research and breakthroughs into products that truly help people. That's the journey we've been on with large language models. Two years ago, we unveiled next generation language and conversation capabilities powered by our language model for dialogue applications. So basically this whole time we thought ChatGPT just came out of thin air. And it looks like these two companies had this brewing for a while. Google was behind the scenes incorporating Lambda into some of their own apps and OpenAI decided to beat them to the punch by releasing a standalone model called ChatGPT. By doing this, they were able to gain a major head start. Now they are incorporating ChatGPT into Bing. Super clever. But come on, no one uses Bing. ChatGPT is amazing for sure. When you can use it, of course, because they're always you know down. There are workarounds like buying the plus feature or using GPT-3, which most people don't. It looks like ChatGPT is on the way out the door just as quick as it started. Now, if you take a look at Bing, it's so clunky and it kind of reminds me of the way the internet was pre-Google. Yeah, I'm that old. I mean, look at it. 
everything looks like ads and just, I don't know where to focus. And for me, it's just a matter of time before Bard applies the pressure. Like, like that's how I feel. Check out this video over here or there <laughs> to see how Google has already laid the groundwork for Bard using the Lambda technology behind the scenes. You'll be impressed.